Using image resizer, you can easily resize images or change dimensions of a photo online for free. Hi, my name is David and if this is your first time watching my videos and you get value from the content that you watch, kindly consider liking this video and sharing it with your friends so that we can all learn together. The reason why I'm doing this video is because you may need to resize an image so that it fits perfectly on your blog page and this results in reduction in web uh, web load time uh, which is an important factor uh, especially if you have a wordpress blog or even any website for that matter images do tend to take a huge space uh, especially when it comes to loading of images on a website so this video is going to show you how to uh, to resize your images uh, into either specific dimension or into different percentages so let's begin and uh, the website we're going to be using is imageresizer.com so this is the interface uh, and i already have the file that i want to resize with me it's uh, just uh, an image let's just double click on it how much youtube paid me in 2020 uh, and this particular image uh, if i just right click and check on properties details it's in the dimensions of 1280 by 720 pixels so uh, and the size is about 1.34 MB. That is a huge file if I was to upload it to a blog or even a website uh, for that matter. This is going to increase the load time of that particular web page where this image will be because of the size. So let's uh, just resize this. And since I already have image resizer open, I can just click on select image or even drag and drop the image. Now, once uh, we're in here, I'm just going to click on the image, uh, just open, and it's going to process. We're going to get a preview uh, in the first uh, section of this particular uh, window. Uh, you can either decide to crop if you wanted to, you can flip, you can also rotate. Really depends on what uh, your end goal is. But let's just leave it at preview and then go to the second option where we have to resize. If you know the dimensions, that is the target dimensions that you want to have your image in, once we are done, then you can input the dimensions here and they'll either be in the unit of pixels or any other unit that you select. Let us say we don't know the exact dimensions that we want and we decide to go with a percentage. Let's say we go to with a percentage of uh, like by default, the original is 50%, which uh, uh, resizes our image to a 640 by 360 from a 1280 by 720. Uh, what if we decide to just uh, go slightly to about 47, 48 there? Let's say we settle at 48%. It gives us an image of 614 by 346 pixels. If you're satisfied with this, then you can decide uh, to save your image in two different options. Now, at the time of recording this video, uh, you can set or save the image in a JPG or PNG. This is the original, the image is in, JP, uh, in PNG. And if you see this, the target size in KB is optional, disabled for PNG output. So you can set the target size and we can change to JPG to see if this is available. Target size, uh, file size in KB, we will compress the image to this size. So if you set in a particular size, let's say you say 20 KB, then they're going to compress your image to that. Uh, let's just say we won't put in any figure there and see how good the compression uh, using uh, re image resizer is going to be. Once you're satisfied, just click on image uh, resize now. And uh, once we do that, we can see different options. Uh, to save your image, this is the option to download the image, re-edit this image, resize new image, continue to compress, convert to PNG or convert to PDF. If we look at our image here, we have different uh, things that are available. Uh, we have the file name, the original size, which is 1.34 MB, the original uh, dimensions, 1280 by 720, the new size, which is tremendously small, 53 KB from 1.34 MB. That's really, really awesome. And the new dimensions of the new image, 614 by 346. And then we have a preview of the image uh, that has been resized. Now, if you're satisfied with this, just click on download image and the image is going to download onto your computer. So uh, let us just uh, click show in folder 
and then let's just uh, cut it and navigate to the folder that is the original and paste it inside there let's just paste it inside there so that we can see both images side by side now this is the original image 1.34 this is uh, the resized image at 53 kb if i just right click on it and we look at the properties details 614 by 346 uh, and then we have the size 53 kb so we have resized our image using image resizer saved space therefore if we were doing this so that we can upload an, our image to a blog then we are almost guaranteed that the images will not result in uh, lengthy load times for our web pages because the images are resized into dimensions that clearly fit our target so that's it for this video i hope that is going to be of value to anyone that is looking to resize their images whether for blog posts or any other function that they want to use it for that's it from me until next time stay safe and never stop learning thank you so much for watching this video